Hello, welcome to a priori story timeless. We're here with our buddy Fox. This is McKay. And little Bob, the hummingbird, who is here to see everybody too. I'm very excitable. Actually, we want to hang on there. Okay. Today we have a story from the Cree peoples. <coughs> um, and it, it involves um, Mustaki Shock, who's uh, uh, in some cases um, understood to be created by the Great Spirit. Um, in other work, in other um, stories, um, such as the Menominee and the Algonquin, as well as the Cree, we'll see. Um, uh, Musaki Shock as um, the divine son of the earth. Um, it's usually described as a trickster or a transformer, but this particular variant of the trickster is uh, always a friend to mankind. Anyway, this is a story by Lance Cardinal, um, who also did the image be, uh, appearing before us, behind us. You guys ready? Yeah, okay, that's very exciting. A long time ago, there was no moon. There was only the sun. The creator had messengers who helped him in his work. One of these was the caretaker of the sun. He had two children, a boy and a girl. All three lived in the sky world. They were very happy. The daughter looked after the camp. She kept it clean and tidy. When she shook the feather bedding, the feathers would fall to the earth as snow. The sun hunted and fished. When he hung his nets to dry, droplets fell to earth as rain. The father would be away all day to keep the great fire burning on the sun. He was very old. Soon he would leave his children never to return. He said to them, when I die, you must keep the fire burning or else the people and animals on earth will die. One day when the fire was low on the sun, the father came home tired. He said, children, my children, my children, I have to go. I will never return. The children cried and mourned for they knew he would die. In the morning, it was time to start the sun's fire. The children began to quarrel over who would do the task. I will tend the fire. I am older, said the sister. No, I am the man. It is my job. I will do it, said the brother. They yelled like this at one another. The people on earth began to worry, saying, why is the sun so late? It should be up by now. Masaki Shuk went to see the sun and learn what was the matter. When he arrived, the boy and his sister were still quarreling. Masaki Shuk was angry. The people and animals will perish. He said to them, it is up to you to keep the fire burning, he told the boy. Your name from now on will be Pisium. To the sister, he said, you too will work as hard as your brother. You will keep the fire in another place. You will work at night. You will be Tipiki. Oops, I said it wrong. Tipiska Wipisim, the moon. The two of you do not get along. As a punishment, you will see each other once a year. For all time, you will see each other from across the sky. And so it happened. Even now, it is so. Thank you. <laughs>